Hey there, today we're going to talk about why anti-cancer drugs can have different effects on different people. One of the important reasons is genetic variation. You see, each patient's cancer cells have a unique genetic profile and these genetic variations can significantly impact how they respond to anti-cancer drugs. Specifically, it is as follows. First up, let's talk about genetic mutations. Cancer cells often have mutations in several genes compared to normal cells. These mutations play a crucial role in the growth and survival of cancer cells, and they also determine how responsive these cells are to specific anti-cancer drugs. For instance, lung cancer patients with EGFR mutations tend to respond better to EGFR inhibitors. Next, we have drug resistance. Some cancer cells can become resistant to anti-cancer drugs due to certain genetic mutations. For example, patients with BRCA1 or BRCA2 gene mutations may be more sensitive to PARP inhibitors initially, but there's a chance they could develop resistance over time. Gene expression profile. Genetic variations can also affect gene expression patterns and change drug responsiveness. When certain genes are overexpressed or suppressed, the effectiveness of anti-cancer drugs may vary. Change in signal transduction pathway. If a mutation occurs in the signal transduction pathway within cancer cells, processes such as cell growth, differentiation, and death may change, affecting the effectiveness of anti-cancer drugs. For example, mutations in the PI3K-AKT-MTOR pathway are found in a variety of cancers and can affect the effectiveness of drugs targeting this pathway. Therefore, genetic variation plays an important role in the effectiveness of anti-cancer drugs. Based on this, personalized treatments are being developed and precision medicine, which selects the most effective anti-cancer drugs by analyzing a patient's genetic profile, is becoming increasingly important.